सांबर and welcome you to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana and a warm welcome to our series of cooking for beginners. Now let's make sambar. Since we've already made uh, dosa and sambar is a traditional accompaniment to all South Indian foods, so let's learn how to make basic sambar. Now sambar is something which changes from every region in the South. So what I'm going to show you is a basic or an average preparation of sambar. Of course, there are a lot of permutation and combinations to sambar. So I am not saying that this is the traditional sambar that I'm showing today, but something that you can make on the day when you really feel like having sambar. So to make sambar, what all the ingredients do we need? We need boiled tuar dal, mustard seeds, dry red chilies, fenugreek seeds or methi dana, asafoetida or hing, slit green chilies, curry leaves, drumsticks, tamarind soaked in water, sambar powder, salt, oil, turmeric powder, fresh coriander leaves, rice flour. Okay, so to begin with, we'll first take a wok or a kadhai that you have. Now let me explain the basic to you of a sambar. Sambar is a dal preparation. We generally use arhar ki dal, which is also known as tuar dal, which is also known as split pigeon peas. So once you buy your pigeon peas at home, soak them in water for about half an hour and pressure cook them with some amount of salt and little bit of turmeric powder. So after that, when you boil the dal, it gets cooked in the pressure cooker and this is how it looks. This is cooked dal which I have, which we have blended using a hand blender. So it's very necessary to make sambar that you have cooked tuar dal with you. So this is the tuar dal that I have with me. You would take about four to five whistles in a pressure cooker for the dal to get cooked. So after the dal is cooked, you just blend it using a hand blender or a whisk and just leave it in a bowl. After that, one more important thing that I have done here is I have soaked tamarind in water. So this is the dry tamarind and this is how it looks after you soak them in water. Tamarind needs to be soaked in water for at least 20 minutes for it to go soft. And this is the pulp which I'm going to use in the sambar towards the end to give it some amount of saring. So this is another thing that you have to do. And apart from that, I have just basic spices with me which will make our sambar very tasty. What I have here with me is a sambar powder or the sambar masala. In most of the grocery stores, you will find this. Use any brand that you are comfortable using and uh, make sure that you store this in the refrigerator because what happens is if you're not used to making sambar every day, then this powder may get spoiled due to the humidity in the uh, climate. So I would advise you that uh, after you have made your sambar, after you have used the masala, put them in the refrigerator so that it doesn't get spoiled and you can use it over a period of one year. Okay, so um, I have my wok ready in which I'm going to add oil. Traditionally, people use sesame oil in making sambar. You can use any oil you want. If you have sesame oil at home, try and use that oil. If not, you could just go ahead with using any oil that you generally used in your cooking. So once the oil is hot, we'll add mustard seeds to it and mustard seeds have to splutter. Once they splutter, we will now add some dry red chilies to this. Now is the time to add some methi dana, but very little since this is slightly bitter in taste. And to this, we'll add some hing. I always mentioned that hing is very good for digestion and Indian food takes it in some amount in all its preparations. After hing, we'll add green chilies and some curry leaves. South Indian food is incomplete without adding curry leaves and here goes in the drumsticks after you have added the drumsticks we'll add some water here because we have to let the drumsticks cook and after adding water let's add some salt if you have added salt in the dal while cooking then this salt should be very minimum if you've not added salt to the dal you can add good amount of salt here and after that we'll cover this and we will wait for the drumsticks to go slightly soft okay so now let's see the drumsticks are looking tender now is the time to add the tamarind pulp now tamarind pulp we have to be a little careful because we don't want to add the tamarind pieces to this. We just have to add the pulp. So we'll add pulp here. And tamarind pulp is something which can also be added towards the end once the entire preparation is ready. If you feel that you still need a little more souring agent in this, then you can add more tamarind. But right now that's sufficient. And uh, we'll now add the sambar masala. 
This is what gives the actual color to the sambar and it is not very spicy. So after we've added the sambar masala, let's just give it a mix. Now to this we'll add the dal. Okay, you see this? The color is so brilliant. It's all because of the sambar masala. Again, we have to give it a good boil. But before that, we'll also add some coriander to this. So let it get the flavor of coriander also. And what I'm going to do now is I have rice flour with me. You see right now it's quite, the sambar is quite loose because there is nothing that binds it together. So for that we have to add some rice flour which we will dissolve in some water. So some water in this. We'll add some more water to this. We have to make this into a slurry. Just dissolve this nicely. Now after all this, let's add the rice flour to the sambar and this will give the thickening. Now the vegetables that we have added to the sambar is just the drumsticks but pumpkin is another ingredient which is very um, essential in sambar. Apart from pumpkin even brinjal is something that is added to uh, sambar. Like I always said sambar, like I've said sambar has variations in down south itself. In Kerala, they'll have one recipe. In Tamil Nadu, there'll be another recipe. So what I've tried to show you right now is a basic sambar which you can make. Of course, there will be a lot of changes in this recipe when you have to go and make it the traditional way. But this is a very decent and a basic sambar, especially for beginners if you want to know how it is made and especially if you want to serve it with dosa and idli. So well, let me see how this is looking once we've added the rice flour. It has thickened but not very thick but sambar is something that is not quite thick also we'll just get rid of this scum it's not necessary so we'll just remove this just give this out and the key in a good sambar is that you have to let this boil for a good amount of time so after you have added all the ingredients and you are satisfied with the taste just put it on simmer for at least 15 minutes so I'm going to put it on simmer and for 15 minutes my sambar is going to simmer, simmer, simmer and after that I'm going to serve this with, with nice hot steaming idlis. So now let's switch off the sambar and we'll take a serving bowl. Now we'll pour this, so sambar is done, we'll garnish this with some coriander. That's it, simple recipe, make this recipe just the way I have made it and you'll be very proud of yourself.